hello everyone thank you for joining us again today if it's your first time welcome and for those our regular viewers we say thank you for coming again today we're just going to be making a bell button leggings for kids and i'm going to be using scrap fabric as you know i like using my scraps and we'll be using this we intend to use this for the bottom of the pants and the waist so let's just go into it i don't have a pattern to make this so i'm gonna be using this leggings that's my baby's leggings to cut our material so let's go ahead so my piece is already folded as you see i'm using velvet stretchy velvet actually is leggings so you know you need stretchy material you can make this with velvet you can make it with uh, regular stretchy knit yeah so just make sure to cut on the side that's stretchy because your fabric usually has like two way stretch and four way stretch so if you're using a two way stretch just be sure that you're cutting on the side that's stretchy don't fold your fabric into four fold your fabric into four like this as you can see and i'm gonna just take my this i'm gonna call my pattern piece <laughs> i'm gonna take my baby leggings and just put it over it i'm not gonna be cutting the waist from this so I'm leaving off the waist because I'm not going to be cutting the waist from this material. okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut after marking i know it's gonna stop and so just to make this easy on us we'll just go ahead and take our tip line at this point you want to take your tip line and measure just measure where you you want your bell bottom to start from measure that on the leggings and see how many inches here i got like four and a half okay so that's what well, that's the size we're going to use to cut the roundness on the belt I like using a rotary cutter. I'm not really good at it. So I just kind of try to make sure it's just not cutting my finger off. This is the two this should be the front your front should always be lower than your back because where the booty is gonna go so this is the back mm, these two pieces for the front yeah so now we're just gonna cut the flare part like the bottom part of the pins 
just cut it like you're cutting a foil fabric like you're cutting a circle skirt or circle top or just whatever circle you know how to cut just fold it like you're cutting a circle or flare so you're going to be using the width of the pants leg the one you saw me take it was four and a half and the length from where your your pen stopped on your fabric that's what you're going to be using to get the measurement of the length you want for your flare so we use this okay i'll stop over there let's see 10 so the length of our flare is going to be 10 and the circle is going to be four and a half so you see i folded it the first time and then i'm doing it the second time okay and since i'm not using a parting you want to just make a triangle shape here like that just take this top part and just you're gonna have something like this this is what you're gonna have I hope you can see it okay so now that's where you're gonna do your measurement from the end of your pins here the leg of the pins the measurement that we got from here when we measure it mine was four and a half and the length that we needed was ten so that four and a half is what you're going to measure up here and then from here from wherever your cutting is going to be to the end of this triangle has to be your length so for me mine should be 10 and around my roundness should be four and a half since this is a stretchy fabric i'm just going to go with four i'm not going to be adding anything else i'm just going to go with four because it's stretchy so that four, I'm going to divide it by four. So actually, I just need one inch here. And that one is what you're going to cut, your circle. And then from there, you're going to measure and come down. Make sure you're measuring that length measurement all around your triangle before you cut it. Okay. That's good. And I'm just gonna chip it off here. When you're cutting your, your flare, it's always better to cut it on a smaller circle. And just in case it's too small, you can widen it. But if it's too large, you can't do anything about it unless you cut it again and you open. You're gonna have to open it and cut the entire thing. That's the only way you can fix it. So this is my flare for the pins. This is gonna be the belt for her pins. As you can see, that's what it's going to be like. And you're going to need two of these. So just go ahead and cut the second one. The second way to cut your belt's bottom is to just your bell bottom. I don't know why I keep cutting the belt. It's bell. You just the same way, get your leggings for your child, fold it like this, and this. You see okay we're gonna go like this just lay for your fabric I got my fabric folded into two so lay it on there excluding the waist just don't include a waistband because you're gonna cut your waistband separate unless you want a skinny band but if you want a big waistband which of course it kind of matches the the bell bottom if you want it like that it looks really cute so you're just gonna come you want to make sure your pants is kind of in the middle and then you just fold it to whatever length you want i want mine to start from 10. i want my bell bottom to be at 10. okay 
so I'm gonna be folding right here that's gonna be my mark to give me 10 length sorry I should have mark here okay you just want to mark where your pen stop okay and I'm gonna okay so now I know where I'm gonna be folding right here okay so from here now that you've gotten it you just want to kind of just trace your pins over there just like we did the first one just trace it on your fabric and over here you want to start coming down with a triangle if you have a ruler you can use a ruler I'm just freehanding this and I'm just coming down with a triangle to match this line where we stopped so yep got it and that's it that's your second bell bottom without pardon. So simple, easy. Let me raise my camera a little bit so you can see it. So you're just gonna go ahead to cut the first one and then cut the second piece. Hit the, hit the like button. Okay. Like Thank this. you for reminding them to hit the like button. That's what your tracing should be. If you want to use a ruler, you can make use a ruler. But I just went ahead and just freehand it. I didn't use any ruler. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but when you're cutting your pins, the back pieces should always be longer, at least an inch longer than the front like what I have here so just make sure when you lay the front piece over to cut you add an inch at the top like if you see here this is what it is so this is these two are gonna be the back pieces and these two are my front pieces so I hope you understand that just because when you wear the pins just um, think about your own pins as an adult the booty has somewhere there has to be somewhere for your hips and your body to fit in. So especially if you got kids wearing diapers or pull up, there has to be enough room in there to accommodate all that. So that's why you have to add at least one inch to one inch and a half, depending on how high you want it. So this is how your second cut is going to be looking. With our parting, we made it. We cut the bell bottom twice the size of this waistband i think it's about an inch and a half or two yeah it's two inches so i'm going to double that because i want her to be having a high waistband so that i can be able to fold over so i'm just going to go with four and my fabric is folded you see i folded the first time and then i folded the second time So it's going to be folded into four pieces and I'm cutting on four inches. Okay. Four them on four. And I'm just going to cut it. So we have our two waistbands. The navy blue one we cut and the other one. Make sure to always notch the end of your, the middle of your waistband. Like you see at the here and just make a little notch here so I can know my center because this one I'm gonna put this to the back so this is gonna be the front so this is gonna be the back and I'm gonna use this in the front that's why I have that notch in it so I can know where so we got the waistband we got our pins the front and the back 
four pieces two pieces each two pieces for the front two pieces for the back and our waistband and the same thing we got with this one okay so this one we got the two legs and then we got our front pieces and our back pieces and then we got a waistband so we're gonna go ahead now to join this to join your pins when you're making a pins make sure you want to join this crush area first you want to join here first join it and then do the same on the other pins on the other two pieces you're joining the two front pieces together and the two back pieces together. You're joining them together by sewing this crush line. So you're supposed to join your pins like this. This is how you're gonna join your pieces. Your two back pieces like I was talking about. Yeah, you wanna join them from the crush area here up to the back. And then you wanna do the same with the front. You want to go ahead and pin in the middle there and join this middle part of your pin. So you're going to be joining this line. These two, you're going to be joining them together. That's how it's going to be. When you join them, then you come and join the sides of your pins. And then we can add the leg and the waist to it. So this is what you should have now. You should have your pins already taken form. It should be taking shape already. So to add the leg, I just I like to turn my pins inside out to add the leg because you sew on the wrong side. And don't mind this. I mean, this is you can do this with sewing machine. I'm just using this is my very first surgery sewing because I just got it. All the years I've been doing this, just practicing between me and my kids, I have not used a surger. It's my very first surger. So I've been using my single machine. I think you can see it somewhere over there. Yeah, that's what I've been having since I came here and I've been sewing. That's what I've been using. This is my very first surger. So, and this is the first piece I'm trying on it. So you can do this with sewing machine. You don't need a surger to do that. So to turn, to add the leg, I like to turn my pins to the right side. Everybody has a way of doing this, but I like to do stuff the way that's comfortable and more simple for me. So, cause like I said, I'm a learner. So I just like to turn my pins to the right side. You have your leg like this, your flag should be turned to the right side too. Just turn it face down so they both are front facing. And now you just want to go ahead and start pinning. I usually just start pinning from my sewing line there. Just pin it and go around with it. Just pin it and go all the way around. And then it's time to sew. You're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. After joining the legs, this is what we have right now. Let me come back a little more so you can see this. This is what we have. So, like I said, remember the highest part of your pins should be the back part. So my back is higher, as you can see, it's raised. So now it's time to join my waistband. I want you to just take it, take your piece of fabric, turn it forward to the wrong side, like so. Make sure you got your two ends together, like this. And just go ahead and sew. Yeah, just sew over here to join it. And then when you're done sewing there, you can pin it if you want to right now. Let me try to pin it so we can see what I'm talking about. We'll have a better idea if I pin it. When you join it like this, just maybe just give it like 
two or three lines of stitches just to hold on if you're using um sewing machine just go over it with your machine like twice and then we're gonna just take it off and then fold it to the right side now and we're gonna have our waistband that's already gonna be sore then we can just join that one piece to the pins so this is what i was talking about you just give it a line of stitch here <laughs> make it look like a skirt anyway yeah <laughs> could be a little mini skirt there you go so now you want to turn it inside out right side out and don't forget to find your notched end point for the front that surely comes in handy right now to be able to find your front okay so yeah there we go and this is it and that's all we spin so now you just grab your pins Grab your pins. Take this front and pin it to the front of your pins. Remember where you know share on your pins, on your waistband. You want to take it now and just pin it to the front. Make sure you're laying it right side facing to your pins. So you're going to turn it like this and pin it to your pins let's go ahead and pin it all around your waistband and then you sew And just pin it all around like this. I don't know if I hope you can see my pins. Okay. Pin it around like that, all the way around, and just follow the line and sew it. So we made the pins, and this is what it looks like. Final product looks like this. I'm coming. Let me take the camera back a little bit. Final product looks like this back in front and when you fold it over because remember it had a, it has a high waist so this is what it's going to look like if the waistband folded I hit the like button. okay can you <laughs> did you hit the like button right mm -hmm. okay thank you so your pants is going to look like this and the blue one the other type the same thing high waist and then we'll fold the band over and just we have this okay. yeah this is what you have for your pins oh your leggings this is your bell bottom leggings. So thank you so much. Hope you like it. Make yours. Like our video. Share. Oh, I just made a little blouse to go with that one. So I might add some photos to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. See you again next time. Okay. Thank you for reminding them to hit the like button.